Hello Steve White, Steve White 39. Well, I'm not feeling pretty today, and since I'm doing a video about pictures, I thought I'd do a little low-tech slideshow. So, yes, talking about 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Of course, that's how we remember it all in the 1960s series, although it's got a bit more colour. Um, the Munsters, which of course, everyone fell in love with it. And it was actually a real house. Um, they used it primarily just for the series and the first movie they filmed in between season one and two and then unfortunately um, it was changed. Now that was what it originally looked like when it was born and born. It was built in like 1946 and unfortunately this is what they did to it um, in the 2000s. In the 80s it still looked like the house, they just cleaned it up and it just didn't look like the Munsters house, it's like a regular house but it still could have been redressed if they really wanted to but yeah when they did Desperate Housewives they really really changed it. Um, and now we found out that uh, Rob Zombie, when he's making the new film, he decided he was going to do basically a whole new neighbourhood and he's built the house and uh, we've already seen these photos but we've got a bit of an update so I thought I'd have a look at some of the ones as we go through just because I found them all today and I hadn't been paying that much attention to it but it's coming along nicely and now we've gotten to this point where the facade is basically finished. Um, obviously they need to build the inside and um, I mean they're not going to build the whole inside but just the, some of it and of course cover the windows and blah blah so it's not ready to film obviously but it's looking very 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 good and visually at least he seems to have the series right which is encouraging but where he's actually going to do the series real justice I still have no faith in the man after Halloween but um they're building the whole neighborhood and they weren't joking when they said they're building the whole neighborhood they're building like just a whole bunch of houses i'm like why didn't they just find a neighborhood and you know with like a empty lot and just build the set there and then just tear it down afterwards maybe if we're lucky they might actually be smart enough to leave it up so they can do sequels without having to spend a fortune doing it all again which sometimes is the reason sequels don't happen because they cost too much if you have all the standing sets, it's a lot easier to just walk back into production. They didn't learn this with um, the Adams Family, unfortunately. The first film, that beautiful house they built, tore it down. And then for the later second film, they had a miniature, and that was the last one we saw. But, um, yep, yeah, I'm fairly impressed by that. Um, the fact they're building the whole neighbourhood, they actually seem to be spending some real money on it, and they care about accuracy, is making me feel a bit more optimistic, but at the same time, it's still Rob Zombie. So, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it there. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Am I being too pessimistic? Um, I don't know. Halloween. Halloween too. That's all I can say. Bye.